I made these in record time and I'm gonna show you exactly how this right now. Friday. What did you do? So the secret to this lies in the HTV that I'm using. I use Wallacut Express from Heat Transfer Warehouse. It's a really cool um, vinyl. Uh, I'll show you exactly how cool it is in just a little while. Uh, I do have a link for it in my bio um, and in the description of this video. Just know that anytime you make a purchase using any of my links, I appreciate it because that earns me a small commission. All right, that was my commercial. Let's get back to it. Like I said, this reads very easily. It looks like I'm tugging and pulling, but that's just to get around some of those curves and stuff in this HTV. When you cut your HTV, um, just like most HTVs, you're going to cut this on your craft machine, on your cutting machine, uh, mirrored. So you're going to put it shiny side down the liner side down and you're going to cut it mirrored so that you get the effect that you want i needed four of these that's what my client ordered and so i needed to cut four of them when you do this the other thing you want to do is play around with the placement on your mat because i know with cricut this had separated it into two different mats but i knew i could get all four of them on one mat and that consolidate uh, consolidating like that saved me my vinyl okay so just go back make sure you get everything out of the out of the um the little curves and everything that you need to weed out. When you're finished with that, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to press. Now this Wallacut Express presses at 250 to 302 degrees, depending on the fabric. I'm using polyester pot holders, so we're gonna do 285, and the magic here, five seconds. That's right, guys, that's why I did these in record time. I put in a pressing pillow um, inside the pocket just to elevate it away from some of those side seams. That did help a lot. I always clean everything off first with my lint roller, getting rid of that dust and anything else there. We're gonna preheat just for a couple of seconds to remove moisture and everything else. And then I'm gonna place this down. Here we go, five seconds. The countdown's right here. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna take up my heat press. We're gonna peel this. The cool thing about this, it is either hot or cool. Look how easily that liner came off. I'm gonna show it to you now. Everything stayed in place. I always go back with my Teflon sheet, this is just my habit, and do a little press afterward. But these came out great. I put everything back in my cubby so I can know where it is. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.